Hey guys, Subsy Kid here with another tutorial and sorry for not uploading for like the past two weeks, like I'm meant to be releasing a tutorial at least once a week, but I've had a pretty hectic past two weeks and I've just been spreading out my time between working, editing a project which I'm currently working on and playing Black Ops 2 really. And I kind of forgot about tutorials, but I'm back to making one right now. And as you can see, I am on Windows and the only reason for that is because Today I'm going to be showing you how to use and what Velocity is in Sony Vegas and there is no Sony Vegas for Mac. So basically what uh, what Velocity is, it's a time remapping it's a time remapping thing in Sony Vegas. Just like After Effects time remapping is basically the same except it's better to use in my opinion because basically it's more visual and easier to use because it's visual because basically when you use it you can see how fast and how slow the footage is at certain points whereas in After Effects you have to use keyframes and you by stretching up the keyframes in different parts and time remapping it and you can't really visually tell how fast the footage is at certain parts and basically velocity can only be used on high footage high frame rate footage properly like for example this footage is 500 frames per second if i quickly show you if i quickly find it it's this one as you can see it's 500 frames per second and you can only really get that kind of frame rate on PC gaming footage. So if you're on console and ed trying to edit your console stuff, you're kind of screwed because the maximum you can get with the PVR is 60 frames per second. And you'll be getting jittery footage and repeated frames when you try to go when you try to slow down your footage footage. Whereas at 500 FPS I can go down to like 1% speed and it will still be perfectly smooth and that's why you use Twixter on 60 FPS because you can go down to slower speeds by frame blending which Velocity doesn't do it just stretches out the frames that's why it will become jittery if you have a low frame rate but anyway the way to apply Velocity to a certain clip is by right clicking on the clip going to insert slash remove envelopes and there should be velocity and as you can see you get this little green line and this is what I mean by visual it's literally how fast the clip is so at the moment if you go to this first point there's a little point I don't know if you can see that but at this point the velocity is at a hundred percent as you can see and say if you want to add a point and slow it down you can right click on the green line and add point or you can just double click and it'll create a point and as you can see as I move up and down you can see the speed of the clip in percentage so as you can see like down here you can go to minus 100% that means it's going backwards in a sense basically and as I go up you can go up to 300% faster and as you can see when like say I put it up to 300% you can see the gradual the gradual increase in speed and this really does make it a lot easier to use as you can actually see what's happening and where it's faster and where it's slower and you can specifically change the speed so say if you want it to be 72 72.3 or something you can right click and set to 72.3 and like that and as you can see the velocity is at 72 percent it just rounds it off and you can make it pretty exact and it's much more accurate than the keyframing and after effects when using time remapping so what I'm gonna quickly do is delete this point and I'm just gonna go to where this dude shoots so here and I'll just split it delete that and let's go over here and say when I like it looks kind of cool over here and I want it to slow down and go pretty slow at about this 
point so what I'll do I'll go to the beginning here and I'll just drag this green line to the top so that it's at 300% speed and then if I go about 7 frames forward so so 7 frames forward um, I can drag I can just double click make a point and say if you make a point here you can just drag it and it will snap onto certain points and this can help when you have markers to sync like when using markers for syncing to a song you can just snap it to a marker so you get it exactly on that marker and that's quite handy as well so I'll bring it down to about 17% now I'll just slow this down a bit so it looks kind of cool like that and if I just quickly preview that you can see it looks pretty cool maybe a bit more and as you can see it's perfectly smooth perfectly smooth no jittering no repeated frames and that's only because of the high frame uh, high frame rate footage and with this you can it allowed you to do a lot so let's say I want it to go back to about normal speed about one second in I'll make another point and I'll just double click so it goes straight to a, a hundred percent and now I want it to go to a hundred percent to till about here and I'll make another point and then I'll go about uh, 20 frames forward or something 10 frames forward and I will slow it down to about 10% so what happens is that it's, it slows down over there and then I'll go forward a little bit again and I'll go to the point where he shoots again so there you can see the hit marker there and what what you can do here is say as soon as he shoots you want it to go really fast again you can create a point here and you can just drag it and it will snap on in line with this so you can I'll set it to about 220 percent so as soon as it gets as soon uh, like exactly when he shoots we'll go to exact that speed to exactly that speed at the same time in a sense and if I go forward I can slow it down to about 10 percent again and if I quickly preview what we have here so it looks kinda cool, it's a bit too fast at this point, I'll just bring it down to about there so it's looking kinda cool, it's just random, I'll, I was just doing that kinda randomly but as you can see it's all pretty smooth but velocity can become even more powerful whereas in After Effects you can easily use the key keyframes to make it more motionalized if that's a word in velocity in Sony Vegas if you right click on a point you have these different types of fades so by default all the points are set at smooth fade but all of these can give you different types of like it can change the way uh, basically what these fades do it changes the way the velocity is applied from one point to another so if I go to this point here and I right click and go on to fast fade you can see that you can instantly see like visually that the green line changes to a more faster motion as you can see it's more sloped instead of a more curved smooth slope or you could even uh, like if I go forward back to the beginning over here you, I could set it to a sharp fade and as you can see what happens here is you can visually see it that it kind of stays at one point and then it sharp it sharply like moves down and using these different fades like a linear fade would just be one exactly gradual fade uh, fast fade I just showed you fl slow fade if I just show you here slow fade you can see it kind of goes slowly like that and with the visual green line you can really see what you're doing and it makes a lot more sense when you're working with velocity rather than 
time remapping in After Effects and that's pretty much it and if I just quickly preview it again it looks slightly different like especially this last part you can see it's changed completely because the velocity changes like from a smooth fade to a fast fade and this is pretty much the basis of velocity like you, I don't think you can do any much more but it's pretty powerful when it comes to time remapping your footage and when it comes to syncing I'll make a separate tutorial on syncing with velocity it will it makes it a lot better that's why um, if you see PC edits the syncing in it the syncing and the flow is really clean because most PC editors use velocity when syncing and it's so easy to sync and so quick and it looks good with the different like fades you can do and that's pretty much it for velocity in Sony Vegas so thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe put your tutorial requests in the comments section below and I'll get back to you if you have any questions as well and yeah that's about it so thanks for watching guys see ya